Hello everybody, my name is Baxter and welcome to another video. Um, this one is, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Um, I just did my first piece of real life journalism as in going out in the real world, doing it all myself, no like genuine news, publishing it, tweeting it. Um, I didn't do a full article, it was just a tweet, doing a video of pan shots and stuff, and it's absolutely blown up. Completely out of nowhere blown up, and I, I genuinely cannot believe what has just happened. This has been a crazy evening, um, you won't be able to see, um, but it is pitch black outside. Absolute pitch black. It is past 10 o'clock at night. This has been going on since about, what, uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe? It's been going on since. It has been crazy. Absolutely crazy. I had to have my dinner in that time and cook, and I missed a bunch of messages. And, yeah, they want to use my content. I've had the Daily Mail contact me. I have had uh, people from the EBU contact me. Um, I have also had someone that is working with American um, businesses contact me. Um, <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. The list goes on and on and on of people who have contacted me. I know it's not a massive list. It's probably like five or six people. But to have my content out into the public and have people respond to it um, and have proper journalists respond to it, is just a massive step in the door, a massive, massive step in the door. I've had uh, multiple supportive messages and people uh, messaging me that are journalists to um, give me a bit of advice on what to do. Um, not to give my content out for free is a massive one that a lot of people said. Um, my content did go out for free, but I did, um, if any of the people that decided to follow me from that um, are watching this, then I did go through all the measures um, I still retain me and my uh, fellow student um, Dylan he I'll put his Twitter handle in the description down below as well as mine uh, for this for this one um, so you can please 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 follow him as well um, I did not do this on my own I don't want anyone to think I did this on my own um, his input was massive and really did help um, as well as my three lecturers, um, Will Oliphant, uh, Lindsay Pantry and uh, Lisa Bradley. Sorry, I got a notification so I had to cut. <laughs> don't think I forgot my lecturer's names. I don't want that to come out. <laughs> don't spread news like that. Um, but yeah, those uh, guys have been absolutely supportive to me and yeah, it really helped me walk me through this weird, wacky experience where I'm getting messages and being told not to give out my content for free, but there are certain situations where I should, as long as I, me and Dylan are accredited in every single piece of news. It's bonkers, absolutely bonkers, and I can't put into words how crazy this is. Um, for me, first year student, I've been here a month and a half this is my first ever piece of journalism, London's first ever piece of journalism, and we're getting this kind of response, and that gives me so much confidence. Um, I did, I, I have been doing well on the course, and I've been really chuffed with how I've been doing, but this has been the first time where I've truly felt um, quite <laughs> surprised in, in, in myself and in doing this to what we've done. Like we, we thought it was good, we were really happy with it, but we even picked faults with our own video. We thought that there were other things we could have done, we thought there were different camera angle shots we could have done to make it just that little bit better. And the fact that we're getting this response and we know we can do better just says a lot about where we could end up. And I know I'm thinking too far ahead and everything, but I don't want to record this in the morning when I, I just want my feelings to just go out. Um, I don't know when the video will, this video will be going out. Um, I will get it edited and published as quickly as possible because there's not going to be much editing because I can't stop talking. If you cannot tell, I just keep rambling and rambling. So hopefully I can get this out ASAP um, so you guys can see 
what it, <laughs> so you guys are able to see um my reaction almost as quickly as it actually happened um yeah it is absolutely insane and thank you to everyone for the support um not only on this channel but on my twitter again my twitter's down in the description as well as well as dylan's um please um please follow me um i'm doing a lot of interesting stuff it's where um if it's where my i promote my youtube it's also where i'm going to be promoting my journalism and i've changed my twitter a little bit and i'm trying to change my twitter every day or so to try and get uh, to hone it in and really make it um a good platform for me to develop my name really in the world um it has been one crazy evening i am absolutely knackered as you can tell i chucked my jumper <laughs> so unprofessional to see my jumper in the background but i chucked my jumper over there because i am when I get stressed, I get really hot. So I had to just chuck it off and it just, yeah, it's, it's been absolutely insane. And I know I've been rambling a lot, so I hope a lot of you have stuck through this <laughs> absolute calamity of a video. Um, but yeah, it is whoa, one hell of a compliment to me. Um, and yeah, and I know Dylan feels the same. So I'll close the video up now. Hit that like button if you like this video. Um, please follow the Twitter. I know I keep mentioning it, but please, please, especially Dylan, uh, he deserves it. Uh, give him a follow. Um, hit that <laughs> subscribe button, I guess. I, no, I don't really mind. If you watched it, thank you. Um, and hopefully I shall see a lot of you in the next video. See ya.